What's up guys, it is mid-March and we are out here. I'm gonna show you the steelhead jig rig that will catch you steelhead on jigs. You guys stay tuned. It's fresh and fresh. Let's go. We get out of bed, we go cast out, we take a breath. We say, okay, let's get this thing started. started. We grab our rod, we grab our bag, we get in a car. In a car. I am so excited, I know you are. Oh, yeah. We make a cast, we set the hook and we let it go. Let it go. It's gonna be lit, just stick around and you will know. It's fresh and fresh. It's fresh and fresh. It's fresh and fresh. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to this new episode where I'm gonna show you exactly the rig from line to float to leader to jig exactly what we're using here so you guys could copy it at home so first off guys we're going to start off with the line what we have here is 30 pound braided line i'll link it down below and having braided lines actually very important because it makes it so that your direct leader is super strong and i'm going to show you why that's important right now as i was just saying having 30 pound braided line is super important because it's basically holding our entire rig here we have it right here and after this after this 30 pound braided line, I have put on a bobber stopper. After the bobber stopper, we have a bead to separate it from the bobber stopper to the actual float, which is next. After the float, we have another bead. So if you take a look here, surrounding our float is two beads. That way the bobber stopper actually stops the float and it doesn't actually go through the hole that's inside the float. So now that it's secure from both sides, after that, we just put, we put a barrel swivel. And this barrel swivel will connect our 30 pound braided line. And here we have 10 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon. I'll link all of this stuff down below. And finally, we have our Nightmare Series jig. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I did add two weights right here. And you guys are gonna ask me, how'd you know to add these specific weights? Well, if we look here, this is a quarter ounce float. Now, quarter ounce float mean, doesn't mean that the float actually, actually weighs a quarter ounce quarter ounce float means that it can carry a quarter ounce so what i put down here two one sixteenth weights that way they take it down like this so that when the float floats it's going to float like this this is going to keep it down it just makes it so that the float floats vertical in the water and i wanted to point out that if you guys don't have a leader then you might as well just go home because leaders are very very important the fish will not bite a jig connected to straight up braid so yeah, here's the setup that we have, just that, and then here, barrel swivel, and the jig. Pretty easy, guys. Now the question of how long you want your leader to be, and it really depends. Sometimes you can use a two to three foot leader, sometimes you need more. It just really depends on how deep your water is. This right here is about a two foot leader. Uh, you guys might want more, but ultimately what decides how deep the actual jig is going to be is the float, so you could slide your float up and down, no problem. Now what we're going to do... We're gonna head out there and we're gonna start fishing. And next video, guys, I'm gonna show you exactly where to cast these things to actually catch the steelhead. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned for future episodes. Stay fresh, and we'll see you on the next one. Pull up to like it's fire more than you know. More than you know. We say okay this time, let's give a show. Give a show. But you gotta hit that bell right down below. So don't miss out and tell me.